Hey guys, it's your girl KC. Welcome back, welcome back. Now today I'm gonna show you guys how I tint my eyebrows. I no longer pluck them or get them done. I just trim them and tint them with the Ardell Brow Tint. Now this tint kit is pretty straightforward. I'll show you guys what's in the package. So we have our conditioning developer. It looks like a clear gel. We have our brow, brow tint powder rather and a little spatula to mix. Now it does come with a little plastic container, but after the first use, I trashed it and I just mix it on aluminum foil. So basically what you do is you mix four parts developer to one part colorant, which is the powder. So you put a little bit of the developer on the aluminum foil, you shake a little bit of the powder on there and you mix it. Now it says four to one ratio. I do a little bit more of the colorant because I want it to be a little bit darker. So mix it as you please. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I mix it. And after I mix it, guys, I don't put it on right away. I let it sit for a while so it can darken and I can really see like where I'm applying it on my brows, if you know what I mean. So put a decent amount onto your aluminum foil. I say this is enough for two brows. And then you just shake, shake, shake the colorant, the powder. Now I did end up adding more to this. So the amount that you see here, add a little bit more to it because I want to make sure mine's is nice and brown. And you just mix away. You just want to get all the clumps out of it and just make sure it's like a nice smooth consistency. If you ever dyed hair, you kind of know what it's like to mix the developer with the color. So just mix away. Sorry for the bad angle as I'm trying to record and mix all in one. All right, now that that's all mixed, I'm gonna let it sit while I prep my brows. Now, when you put this on your brows, you do not wanna freehand it. What you need to do is create a brow outline so that you can make your brows nice and neat. Now, if you have long brows like mine, definitely comb them and trim them so they're not looking all crazy. Um, but I find that Trimming them and tinting them is much better and it works for me rather than getting them done every two weeks because I feel like the plucking and the waxing of my brows is really thin them out and I wanna make sure that my brows stay thick. So I got some makeup guys, LA Colors uh, foundation and a color that's so not anywhere close to mine but that's okay because this is gonna help me create essentially a stencil so that I can neatly apply uh, the brow tint. So I'll show you guys how I kind of carve out and shape out my eyebrows prior to applying the tinting uh, gel or cream. So whatever shape you want your eyebrows to be, this is where you would shape it out essentially. And it doesn't have to have hair in every section because the tint will change your skin to that color as well. So. Just shape out your brows. If you want them thick, make them thick, girl. If you want them thin, make them thin. Just put whatever shape your heart desires. And if you mess up, it's okay, because you know what? You can fix it with a little bit of makeup, a little bit of concealer, especially if it's your first time. So don't be so hard on yourself. Now, I like my brows to be a little bit thicker than my natural brows, so I kind of leave a space a little bit on the top and a little bit on the bottom. So I can fill that in with tint, with a tint, and I can have darker, thicker brows. And I apologize for the bad angle, guys, but I think you get the gist of what I'm doing here. All right, so we're wrapping up the, what do I call this? The outline of the brows. And now it's time to apply the eyebrow tint. 
Now this looks nice and dark. I always say wait till this mixture turns really dark brown or the color of whatever choice of tint you have so that you can see it visually when you're applying it to your brows. Now I realized after I did one of my brows that I wasn't recording. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my right brow um, and show you how I fill it in. Now I dip my little brush. This is actually a nail brush, but I just use it for my brows. I dip it in the tint mixture and I start about three quarters of an inch into my brow um, because I want the tail end of my brow to be darker and more prevalent. And then I work my way into the front and I do more gentle strokes so that it's just not like a big square, if you know what I mean, at the front of my brow. So kind of work your way to the end of your brow and you kind of do the middle at last because that part you don't need to be essentially as dark as the rest of your brow. Now I fill in these brows. I do not, I'm kind of heavy handed with it because I like my brows to pop, um, except for you know the front of my brow. I'm a little lighter in the front, but for the most of my brow, I'm heavy handed and I put a good amount of mixture on there. So if you want brows that pop, you gotta be a little bit more heavy handed. Um, my first time I did it, I was kind of light with it and I was like, hmm, my brows aren't dark enough. So find what works for you. And if you make a mistake, just simply use a little napkin or so and wipe it off and you'll be okay. And like I said, if, if you even make a mistake and you don't really like the shape of your brows, um, just use makeup to fix it. And next time do a different shape, you know? It's all a learning process and experience. While I was filling in my brows, I realized that I kind of made them too long on the tail end. So next time I'm gonna mark off where I want my brow to end. So here I am all done. I'm just gonna let this set for a second and then check back in in about five to 10 minutes to add some more. Cause normally when it settles, you can kind of see some mistakes you made or some spots you missed. So I can see right here that I need a little bit here. I need a little bit there. So I'm gonna just now go in. Now that it's settled and I can kind of see where all of the, the tint and the dye went. And I'm just gonna just add some to the parts that need more. And again, sorry for the horrible view, but I'm trying to multitask, you know? But yeah, as it settles, it kind of, it'll show you which areas need more. And definitely, you definitely want to fill it in because when it, when it's fully dry and you wipe it off, the areas that need more tint, you'll be able to see. Like you don't want to splotchy, patchy eyebrows. So just make sure that the tint is evenly distributed amongst your brows and you don't have any spots or section that need a little bit more love, you know? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. Maybe I was just looking at it from a different angle. But once you perfect your brows, guys, I keep my brows on, I keep this tint mixture on my brows for about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. So I think the box says 10 minutes. I do 45 because that's what works for me. You test and find out what works for you. And then when I remove or when I wipe off the mixture, I start off with the, the lash, not the lash. I start off with the eyebrow I started off working on first. And then I wait a few minutes and, and wipe off the other eyebrow to make sure that they had an equal amount of time to settle. Cause it took me about a few minutes to do my left brow. So after I removed the dye from my left brow, I waited a few minutes to remove it from my right brow so that they can have an even amount of time on each brow. So what I did is I essentially took like a baby wipe, put some water on it and just wiped it. I wiped my brows backwards and forward, just trying to remove all of the dye. And here is where I noticed that I kind of made the end of my brow a little bit too long, but it's okay. 
it's workable, it's doable. And look at that. Well, minus that, it would be perfect. Minus that extra little tail on the end, it'd be perfect. And so I'm just gonna wait three minutes here to wipe off the other brow. And here I am wiping off the other brow. Three minutes have passed. And look at the brows, guys. I'm gonna show you a before picture, but major difference. Like a brows either make or break your face, I swear. And if I keep on top of this like weekly, um, my brows would be so on point. I really need to do a better job at keeping on top of my brows because they really do help define your face. So make sure you're rubbing forward and backwards on your brow to just get any extra dye off. Now, if your brows aren't dark enough because you didn't put on a lot like me, you can redo this whole thing and add some more. But I told you guys to use a lot of product at the beginning. But guys, I love my brows. Look at them. They're perfect. They make, it's such a drastic difference once your brows are done. I'll show you guys a before and after photo. But I hope this video was helpful, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you gonna try the Ardell Brow Tint and Tint Your Brows? Saves you so much money, guys. Also, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to do what? Subscribe to the channel, cause it's lit. Now let's just look at these brows. Before pick, here you go. Look at the major difference, guys. Major, major, major difference. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.